Here we are with Rebecca Somers and David Gutierrez, and we're talking about the presidential debate today. So how do you guys feel uh, the presidential debate went today for you? Um, I want to say that it went pretty well for both of us. We really, it, was, it felt natural, although at first we were kind of nervous about being on stage. I felt, I felt confident after a while. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I, I went into it a little freaked out, and then I don't know what happened. Just like after on stage for a minute or two, I felt completely fine. What do you guys think about the prominence of female male co-pairs running as presidents this year? I mean, I think it's really awesome that um, that there is, I mean, now finally, like, females, the, that was the point of the co-presidential pairs was to have, um, to have females represented and then you look at in normal years there's only maybe two girls who run when it was single president and now every almost every single pair had a female so I think that definitely um, definitely helped like encourage girls to run yeah um, I felt not only that but also it helped bring more diversity to the table mm -hmm. um, Clark and juniors are great guys but it's yeah. also good to sometimes like mix it up once in a while. Throughout your campaign, you guys utilize social media a fair amount to get your voice out there. Um, how do you think that impacted your campaign specifically as well as the election as a general sense? Um, I guess it, although a lot of people use Facebook, it brought us a wider audience than we already had. Each, each of our, I guess, posts and pictures was just like something that we really have fun doing. Like, I remember the first one we put up was uh, with a biggie quote. And I guess like it was just really funny just laying on a table with a bunch of people. It was very different. Yeah. Everyone else came out with all their Facebook pages and it was very professionally done, like these really high quality photographs. And I mean, we, we had a not, like a nice photographer, but ours was just completely different. Yeah. <laughs> it was really represented us, I think, as a pair. We went like more casual and just I think it also really helped us because it, it kind of separated us from the rest of the pack because it made us different. As we head into the election, what do you as a pair have to say to the Andover community? Um, this place is special f because of the people. And that's why we're running. So thanks guys, we hope you vote for us. So here we are with Carter and Hanover, the co-presidential pairs for this year. And so, Carter, we were wondering, how did the debate go for you guys today? Um, let's see. I, I think I'm pretty well. Um, we definitely were nervous at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, in terms of questions, though, um, we, I think we came, a little, we came well prepared. One of the things that I did mind, though, is their time restriction limit. So due to the time restriction, we can't really say everything we'd like to say about the main points of our platform, which are the iTunes U or iTunes U like um, huh. and of Open Courseware yeah. and the um, Out of the Blue. But um, I feel like it felt well. It yeah, felt it well went quick. It went quick. There were many female male co president pairs running this year. Uh, you guys are also one, so what do you think about that approach to the presidential election? I think it's great just because you're able to reach a broader range of people when you have one male and one female representing. This year, there are a lot of female, male, co-president pairs running for the election. As one of those pairs, what do you guys think about that approach? I think for us, the model worked, I think it worked really well. Mm -hmm. Because one thing we stressed was that, like the co-presidential pair, they should be able to relate to so many different parts of the Andover community and then find like the interests or take the interests or like um, the goals that people want to accomplish and like put, bring them together. Like, I was able to go to the people that I knew really well and say, all right, what do you guys want to accomplish? What do you guys think? Then mm -hmm. hand over, yeah. Yeah, and I was able to go to the people I knew well and say, what do you want to accomplish? And together we sort of had two different perspectives on the issues that we wanted to raise and mm -hmm. solve, but we and, yeah, I think worked together well. Yeah. This year, social media has had a huge influence on the election, and uh, how has that affected your campaign as well as the campaign overall? All right. Uh, it, it's, I think, the, like the way the campaign landscape's really changing a lot. Um, having it be online created a space where we could just upload our platform and upload our ideas as we had them, which was really cool. And what also was really cool is that people could interact with us just right there. So we could have conversations with students, students could message us to our groups on Facebook, and we could just have like really honest exchanges. Um, in that realm of like honesty, um, especially when you're being seen behind a screen, it's hard to be genuine or it's hard to come off as being genuine. 
So we had to like walk this fine line of, yes, we needed campaign photos, and yes, we needed campaign posters, but how, yeah. could, we not, how could we make sure that it didn't look like we were being endorsed or spamming people or, yeah. or um, <laughs> I guess, having a staged appearance? Yeah. Also, it, like we talked about, like the feedback people would send. Like we received Facebook messages from people, like, "Hey, could you, like I saw this in your platform. I'd love to sit down and talk to you." Like, yeah, it was fantastic. Like, through, through like the grueling campaign, reading messages like that, <laughs> like that really was a way to keep you going and say, "You know, I'm, we're fighting for something like real genuine that people are behind." Mm -hmm. Into the election, what do you, as a presidential pair, have to say to the Andover community? Hmm. I'd say for us that our campaign really started off with asking the question of what do you struggle with most at Andover? And throughout this whole process, that's kind of been the leading question for us. Yeah, and this question sort of dictated what we were running for in our platform. And in our platform, we have created policies that address these issues and solve them, focusing on inclusion. Thank you. Thanks.